So hello, this is Lageboard and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to tell you guys that you need to make this upgrade like right now. If you're playing the game you started, this is one of the first things you need to do ASAP. This is going to save you not only a lot of time moving around the map, it's going to give you a companion to help fight alongside you, it's going to let you see in dark places, and it's going to heal you. Definitely, definitely you need to upgrade it. So if you want to find out how you're going to be able to upgrade it and how you can get it done now, but stay tuned to this video, and if you didn't find it helpful and informative, make sure you guys drop a like and a comment. And now let's talk about what is the most one of the most important upgrades that you'll need in Biomutant. So in Biomutant, there is a character called the Automaton. Now the Automaton is like a little grasshopper that's a little companion of yours. You'll be able to find his functionality once we go into the menu. So let's go into the menu, click where it says gear and gear. I say it says crafting inventory and automaton. We're gonna click on that, we're gonna go to the automaton. And this is the character we're looking at. Now, the thing is, like, whenever you click on this and you start at the game, you're going to notice that your uh, the only thing that you have available is the flashlight. So the flashlight's the only thing going to be available to you guys. But how exactly do you get the health injector, the turret, the glider, and the boost? Well, that's what we're going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do and look out for in the game. So in order for you guys to be able to get all these stuff unlocked fast and easy, you're going to need to find a character in the game which looks like a big, gigantic red panda. And he is going to have a little lantern. Usually appears during the nighttime. He does appear during the daytime. But the majority of the time I found him in the nighttime. Now, it seems like he spawns randomly in the, ma in the map. But basically what I've noticed is he usually spawns in, in like areas where there is not, not no, like, no other sort of construction. It's like an open field. That's where he usually spawns and you will be able to find him. Now, uh, there are certain locations that I've seen he spawns very frequently. I could show you on the map exactly where those locations are, so I'll probably show you guys towards the end of the video in case you haven't been able to bump into one of them uh, so you guys can keep an eye out and look out for him to spawn there. Now, when he spawns, he's going to give you a side quest called the Mirage. Basically, the way you interact with the side quest, you're going to walk up to him and hold down Y, and he's going to teleport you back into time to a fight. Now, this fight is just going to be a button smashing type of fight. You don't need to use your guns. You can't use your abilities. You just could only do melee combat, and that makes it actually pretty fun and interesting. Uh, but the fights are actually really easy to uh, complete. If you don't want to complete them, you don't have to win to actually unlock it. But when you win, they're going to give you an option to pick one of these uh, four different sets of attributes. So when you win the first fight, you're going to be getting a chance to pick the health injector, the turret, the glider, and the boost. So what exactly does everything do? Well, the turret, guys, it gives the automaton a turret function that automatically activates whenever enemies are around you and will aid you in combat. So it's kind of like a little sidekick with a little mini turret shooting things that come your way. The next step you're going to be able to do is the health injector. This one activates the, uh, the automaton's healing function in the consumable favorite radio wheel. So basically, the way you activate this is you pop up your wheel, you select the, uh, the automaton, and he's going to come and heal you. Now, the glider is another one that's really interesting because the glider is going to help you traverse throughout the map. Basically, what this is going to allow you to do is when you jump off an edge or jump off somewhere and you hold down the jump button, it's going to pop up your glider and you're going to be able to glide around the area very easily. And last but not least, guys, you have boost. Boost is pretty much going to boost you. Uh, same, you're going to be able to access through the wheel as well. And that, my friends, is how you're able to get the upgrades for the automaton I highly recommend you guys do this early game you probably will be bumping into the big red panda very soon in the early stages of the game so make sure you pick up the side quest as quickly as you possibly can and every time you see them you should be able to upgrade your fourth time now after you upgrade it already you still will see them again so we don't know if there's something else that needs to be unlocked but if there is we'll make sure to let you guys know here in the comment section down below i'm gonna let a couple of my automaton fights play out so you can get a better idea of where you'll be able to find them. And I'm also going to show you guys on the map the areas that I've been able to find them. So a couple areas that I've been able to actually find this guy. Uh, this area right here, uh, where I'm at right there, usually this little green pasture and this little green pasture always has them spawning. You'll also be able to find them right here. There's another area in the map as well, which is going to be right here. Let's see. Okay. And let me actually pull up my controller here. Uh, so this area right here, right when you where the um, this guy's at the uh, the slippery slope or the spiral slope right there, uh, right where you use that spawn point where that spawn point is at right here. If you go down here to this little green pasture right here, that's he usually spawns there. I've seen him spawn down here as well. 
So if you go to this, uh, where's this at? Uh, if you go to this area right about, uh, right about here, where this little patch of grass is at, he spawns there as well. And he spawns in multiple areas, so just look for like green pastures where there's not that many uh, stuff around the uh, vicinity. So like something like this, where there's really nothing there, he probably will spawn around there. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that, and you should be able to see him. So I got him to spawn right here. See, there's absolutely nothing there, but he usually spawns there. Uh, what I do is once I find where he spawns, I just keep coming back, spawn in, spawn out, checkpoint, and uh, usually just make sure I change my daytime to nighttime, and he will be there, and then we'll be able to unlock all the upgrades. And there you guys have it. That's how you upgrade your little grasshopper. I do hope you guys are enjoying our body beats and coverage. If you are, do me a huge favor, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Sometimes what you'll see doesn't feel real until it brings you back to that particular moment, like stepping into a time machine. It's hard to shake these memories and their accompanying feelings. Our brains play tricks on us, so it will take effort to avoid them. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Good thing you recalled how to activate the automaton's health injector. That will be useful. The dark can make you miss the day fierce. 